Hi, my name is Chris Dixon. I'm the co-founder of Hunch. Welcome to Founder Stories. Today we have Seth Sternberg, the co-founder and CEO of Mebo. Thanks for being here. Cool. Thanks for having me. Um, so you started Mebo back in uh, 2005. Can you tell yep. us the story of how you started it? Yeah, sure. So um, I had an idea back in 03, uh, and I told a friend of mine. He told his girlfriend. And so Elaine and I got together, and Elaine was like, hey, we need to find uh, someone else as a back-end programmer, Sandy. Mm -hmm. So we started working on stuff actually back and in, in 03. And you were in school then? Or? Um, that was just before I started business school, okay. actually. Okay. I was still working. Um, so 03, we work on our first project, eight months, decide we don't like it, kill it. That was kind of depressing. Was it related to the... It was consumer the, backup. You know, it was almost like what Dropbox, Dropbox ended up becoming. Interesting. Okay. Um, and then we do another one, eight months, and kill that one too. So now we're 16 what was, months in. That one, was that one was kind of like a uh, really easy file sharing between friends. Hmm. That had IM in it. And then we ended up killing everything else, kept the IM, and mm -hmm. and launched. And that was that was how kind of the original Amiibo came about. We thought and the original Amiibo was it was a base. You go to a website, yep. and you can log into a AOL Instant Messenger, yep. AOL, AOL, Yahoo, Microsoft. It was a we thought we were doing for instant messaging what Hotmail had done for email. It was like move it to the web as opposed to being in software. Um, and it was kind of one of those. It was the first web-based IM, basically. Uh, yeah, it was. It was, it was definitely before, the, at least before like Gmail. It was and all before all that stuff. Yeah. yeah, it was the first like real usable web client. Um, and you know, we built that for ourselves. I think when you're building an initial startup idea, like you just got to build it for yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but we were kind of we, we knew that once we launched it, it was meant for the users, right? And so we list, we built a blog window, we built forums, so we were really careful to listen to what users wanted. Mm -hmm. Um, and really early on, we started hearing, hey, we want Mebo in our websites. Mm -hmm. And so we didn't understand that it was 05, right? So it was before mashups, it was before widgets, like none of that stuff existed yet. Uh, so we started calling folks and we we're like, what do you mean you want you know, Mebo in your website? Because we would have a be, website. What kind of what? This would be like a CNN, like a big it would publisher be like or a, a blogger? Lot of or? Commerce sites okay. were calling, okay. bloggers were calling. Um, and we didn't get it, right? Because we were like, you, we have a website, you have a website, and they don't merge. <laughs> yeah. So what do you mean? Yeah. Um, so we called them up, and they said, well, you connect your users with their friends across networks. And I want that for my site, connect my users with their friends across networks. And so from literally the first 30 days or so, we began to realize we had to figure out how to get Mebo into other people's sites. And hence, kind of, we went on this trajectory of building different product iterations around Mebo that embedded through the West, rest of the web. So, can you explain? If, so, if I was a commerce site, then yep. what would be the business value? Like, I would see by, by connecting the friends across sites, yep. they would see greater it's engagement like, and they'd hang out on the site more. You and, know, one was like a handbag site. Okay. I remember they contacted us and they're like, "Hey, if my if someone buying a handbag." could ask their friends questions about that handbag they're buying, if they could show them pictures of it in real time, um, if they could literally say, hey, I just bought this handbag to, to their friends on, you know, at the time, AOL and Yahoo and now Facebook and Twitter, then that would help them make more sales, right? Because it would turn that shopping experience into something that's social. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mirror the real world and the internet. Um, you know, content sites where like, hey, people will talk to their friends about the content they're seeing on this site. They'll invite their friends over to check out the content too. So the amazing thing is, is people in, in late 05, when they saw the original Mevo.com, were having this kind of, hey, could I get people's friends in my site all the way back then? Yeah. And so that's when we started working on kind of this different technology and ended up so with the, the Mebo bar. the first of what we see now with, with Mebo exactly. and Facebook. And, and Facebook Connect and, and all that stuff. Okay. Twitter, yep, exactly. 